Hi, this is John with TacticalGearhead.com. Uh, Andreas and I have been looking uh, online and we see that a lot of you folks out there are uh, putting together uh, bug out bags, uh, especially as it pertains to a WROL or SHTF situation. So we thought we would, uh, you know, show you guys what uh, you really should uh, put in your bug out bag because there's a lot of uh, misconceptions out there and, and a lot of uh, um, silly things that I see uh, people doing uh, that really does not work in a, in a, in a good uh, WROL situation. So first of all, you got to think about, you got to get a bag. And uh, you know, some of you have these smaller bags and stuff like that, um, but you know, screw that. You need what you need is you need a real WRL bag. You need something like this. This is a uh, Gulls kind of a deployment bag. And so you can fit all the stuff that you will need uh, into this bag. All right? So I'm just going to open it up and show you what you really need to put in your bag. You'll need a KitchenAid uh, because if you're on a FEMA camp, you uh, will have to maybe do some baking or something like that, and uh, the KitchenAid will be uh, will be great for that. So don't forget your attachments to that, okay? And then you will need a uh, baseball cap with an American flag. Uh, that way, people uh, will see that you're an American, so they won't mistake you for uh, uh, like an illegal alien or something. Then you will need your Amazon Kindle um, so that you can uh, read uh, survival books and things electronically so that uh, uh, you can get some advice of uh, you know what plants to eat and uh, how to set traps and, and, and uh, get some small game and things like that. So that's, it. that's important. Okay, what else? What else? You will need a cast iron skillet. Uh, this is good because it's, it's very... Uh, uh, handy uh, because you can not only cook with it, but you can also use it as a defensive weapon and uh, You might even be able to stop a bullet uh, like a 22 or something somebody shooting at you You can just go like like that and uh, it will stop the bullet um, And you can have it over open fires, which is which is very good So you need a cast iron skillet Now water is very important you need access to clean good water in a WRL situation. And I suggest you pack a bottle of uh, San Pellegrino. Uh, it has a nice little uh, uh, bubbly, uh, bubbly, uh, bubbliness to it. I guess, uh, what do you call that? The, uh, you know, the, the sparkling water. You get sparkling water. It's got some stuff in there that makes it bubbly. Very good. It tingles on your tongue. Uh, so pack lots of San Pellegrino. And, and you know, when you're, when you're filling your bag up, what you want to to try to do is you want to have as much weight as you can in the bag uh, because the more weight you have, the hungrier you'll get and you'll be exerting yourself and uh, since you know you want to try to eat as much during a WRL situation to make yourself fat, uh, you want to pack it heavy so you get hungry and you work yourself out and you eat more so that's good so you can make yourself fat. Okay. Now food is very important and Andreas will get in more into detail about what kind of food you will need. Uh, but uh, uh, I can suggest getting some dry food, like a bag of rice is very important. Uh, this is like 15 pounds of rice, and that will feed uh, you know, your FEMA camp for quite some time. And it's important we have rice. You will need a, a rice cooker. Uh, so I would go ahead and pack one of those too. pack a, a Granger catalog because you're going to be needing a lot of stuff so um, pack your cell phone too so that way you can call Granger up and uh, all the stuff that you'll need you know for making your uh, cabin or you know solar power or PVC plumbing and and all that stuff you can just order straight out of the catalog and it, you know they, they have it all in there um, so just you know order order what you need in a WRL 
little situation. Um, a shortwave radio, that way you can listen to uh, what you know is going on in Canada or something like that, uh, because they will probably have a ROL situation up there. So uh, that way you can try to uh, hook up with your brothers up there and, and uh, get back to the basics. You also need um, tobacco and maybe a pipe. Uh, that way you can walk around the camp uh, looking like you own the place and uh, people will say, well that guy looks like he knows what he's doing because he's smoking a pipe. And uh, they might say, well, you can take that pipe and smoke it. Okay, well, uh, those are just some of the things I think you need to start thinking about and maybe start packing. Uh, Andreas will go into even more details and we might have to uh, go over uh, into a part two if this video runs too long, but uh, um, just some of the basics you will need uh, in your bug out bag. Hi, this is Andreas from tacticalgearhead.com and uh, as you know by now, uh, John has asked me to fill you in on our philosophy on WROL and preparing for it and how we pack our bug out bags because like John said we've seen lots of bad advice out there and we thought we'd set the record straight. Um, as you know um, I like to travel light so my bug out bag is this nice little beauty right here. Now you'll notice my bug out bag has a handle and wheels just to make sure that I can take it with me wherever I go. Um, let's see what's inside this. Um, probably the most important thing that you can take with you is, is the food. Um, and what you want to do is you want to pack you know, only the essential foods that you're going to need on your trip. So I like to start my mornings with, uh, you know, with a good breakfast. So I, uh, I'll be taking along my box of Cheerios here, along with, of course, the requisite bottle of milk to go with it. You can't drink Cheerios dry. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, oh yeah, in case I might want to have an almond on the road, I have a dozen eggs, always important. Let's see, what else? Well, we don't want to neglect, uh, neglect the other food groups. We have our meat here. I have my turkey, cold cuts, that's always, that's always good. My uh, block of Manchiago Spanish cheese. Can't go anywhere without that. What else have we got here? Well, of course, you can't have a complete breakfast without having coffee. So you've got to bring along a coffee machine. Uh, this one's a nice portable unit, like that one. What else? Um, can't have coffee without coffee beans. Got enough coffee beans here for at least a week. And then, no meal is complete with what I, without what I call the four food groups. You got your champagne, tequila, Jack Daniels single barrel, of course. And what bug up bag would be complete without some cognac? There we go. Remy Martin cognac. Well, That about covers what I take with me when I bug out. Um, I know it might not be as complete as some of your packs, but I think it's a good start and it'll let me survive for at least, at least a month or two, I'd say. Cheers and thanks for watching.